Hey, how's it going? Hope you guys are having a good week. My week could be better. I recorded this video um, the other day after I got off work. I'd worked six days last week, and it's not a problem. I don't mind working six days. The issue is that sometimes at the end of six days, you don't feel like making dinner. Not super complicated dinner. So that's where this week, this week's video comes in. I also woke up this morning with super bad allergies up, and I sound very horrible in my opinion. I don't, if I sound different in the voiceover than I do in the actual video, that's why, because the video was recorded earlier in the week. So I apologize, but I hope you guys don't mind that there's not going to be a ton of voiceover this week, um, just because I feel super nasally, which some people might like I'm not into it but there will be probably a lot more stuff typed on the screen so if you don't actually watch the screen um, you know who you are Randy um, you might actually have to look at the screen to see what's going on so but I do appreciate you guys for watching and staying tuned and I hope you guys enjoy it so let's get right into the recipes So this was a long week for me. Uh, worked six days this week. So I don't really feel like making um, a whole bunch of complicated stuff. So this week we're going to do the lunch brisque, which is just um, root and honey and peanut butter. The OG fried bologna sandwich. Um, you know, because it's a simple week. We want simple recipes. The East Side Cheese Quesadilla and Dogs in a Blanket. So this seemed pretty easy. So that's what we're gonna do this week. I think we should start with some fruit. So we can snack on that and we'll make everything else. Make the lunch brisek. Uh, we need to start with fruit, apple, banana, grapes, uh, and then honey and um, yeah, that's enough. That's enough. We need a spatula. Here we go. Peanut butter. So all you need to do for this is um, cut up fruit. You're supposed to drizzle the honey on top of it. I might just put it in a little bowl to dip. I, I don't know that I want honey on my grapes, but I think that might be an all right compromise. Uh, let's go cut up our apple. Don't almost drop stuff. Um, also, don't be gross. Wash your fruit. I'm a little carried away on my apple. It's a Honey crisp apple, they're really good. Hmm. Nice little snack, I like it. And now we make the OG fried bologna sandwich. We need cheese, we need bologna, we need some bread, mustard, and most important part, barbecue chips. So for this you need to toast your bread and take the red stuff off your bologna if it has it. Cut a slice, a, a little slit in the slide. Blah, blah, blah. A slit in the side of your bologna swear English is my first language. I'm just not very good at it. So now I'm gonna take this, make toast. Hot. Mm. 
do. Poke, poke it up a little bit in the, in the middle. Okay. Uh, Alright, so you're supposed to put mustard on, lump of bread. Bologna. And cheese. Oh, hear that crunch? Mmm, sandwich. Tastes like childhood. Oh, look, good fried bologna sandwich. Okay, this one's done. Let's move to the next recipe. This is the dogs in a blanket recipe. And we need wieners. Cheddar cheese, and crescent rolls, one jalapeno, and more mustard. That's for, you know, dip these, dip these hot dogs. Um, just split them down the middle, and then we're gonna shove cheese in them. And then, we're gonna wrap them in the crescent rolls. It says split, is it like all the way? That'll work. All right, well, those are stuffed to capacity, and I still have all of this cheese that will probably smell like hot dogs. Yeah, it smells a lot like hot dogs. So what am I gonna do with all this extra cheese? My belly want cheese. My belly want cheese. My belly want cheese. So I'm assuming you can leave this part out if you don't like jalapenos or spicy stuff. I'm only actually going to make a one with jalapeno because I am the only one in the house that likes spicy. I'm just going to do half. Oh, I should have wore gloves. Oh, God. Right, every time I cut up a pepper, I'm going to end up rubbing my damn eye. Like, I don't know, going blind or something. I have gotten jalapeno juice, like, under your thumbnail. And if you've ever done that, I'm like... An hour later, you're like, why does it burn under there? That's because there's hot shit underneath it. Now for the crescent rolls. We've preheated the oven. Okay, let's put peppers on that. Cover it. Say a prayer. To the mighty recipe gods. Eh. I mean, oop. There's still cheese sticking out. Okay. Oh, that's lonely. Let's insert sad music here. All right. Let's see if we can figure this out. So you're supposed to. Oh, I think you're supposed to put this over the cheese. Cover up that. Uh, Cheese. Oh, yeah, that works. Super, that's super. That's half a naked flipping hot dog. That was probably be too doughy. Alright, let's try again. It doesn't say anything about stretching the dough out. Let me read this. How am I supposed to do this where it covers the whole thing? Am I, am I doing this wrong? Snoop, help me. Snoop dog. Am I really? I am. I am. I've got to be doing this right. wrong, right? I'm, I'm doing this wrong. I've got to be doing this wrong. I don't, how do I have that much naked hot dog? Patch it? Patch it? I was hoping I'd get better, but I'm just getting, I'm just getting worse. 
That's the long edge. This is the long edge. I wrap it this way, and then there's all... Ugh. I mean, am I supposed to, like, pizza dough this? I mean, I can. In my early 20s, I worked at a Sabaro for approximately a week and a half. I retained almost nothing they taught me. Clearly. Oh, <laughs> these look ugly. These are some ugly hot dogs. Oh, that one's the most promising. Yes, yes. No. Nope, still haven't cleaned it. It looks still kind of doughy. I mean, a little bit longer. Okay, so they don't look as horrible out of the oven. Oh, they're probably already burned on the bottom. Oh, so they're hot. Um, we, well, we don't need to look at that. The East Side Cheese Quesadillas. So we need the main ingredient, which is cheese. We got a big old pack of tortillas. Cilantro, a lime. These are for garnish, and for our sauce we need sriracha, and some sour cream, and mayonnaise. It's for the sriracha sauce, not sriracha sauce, they call it, what do they call it? They call it chipotle sauce. And three tablespoons of sour cream. Three tablespoons of mayonnaise. Four tablespoons of sriracha. Oh, this is a new bottle holder. Oh, this is the safest way in the world to open a bottle. You should do this every single time. No, just kidding, never do this. Don't do anything I do, it's probably all dangerous. You also need to slice an avocado, which if you've never done, there's a big old pit in the middle. It's all the way around. Twist it. Carefully, very carefully. Take the heel part of your blade here. And twist that. There's probably better ways to do that. That's just the way I learned. Bring as close to the skin as possible. And peel out the fruit there. Okay, now I'm supposed to put two tablespoons of butter in our pan, let it melt. Alright, so now we're supposed to take the quesadilla, cover, so this, I think it says cover the whole thing with cheese, and then fold it over. We're just going to do one side with a lot of cheese, and fold it over. Oh, shit, that No, don't burn! Okay. Cross fingers. So it's three minutes per side and then flip it. Oh! Shoot! I think they're done. Let's see. Oh yeah, they're done. Alright, well I'm cool for just a minute and then we're gonna cut it. You can use a knife if you want. I think it's just a lot easier with a pizza cutter. And welcome to my dining room table in this video place. Today, we will be tasting all of these delicious foods on this very rough looking table. All right, we've already gone over this. We like this. I would put the bologna sandwich in here too, except for I made one. It's gone. So, um, I'm gonna try this first. 
I bet it's gonna be spicy. I'll save that for later. I just wanna try a big bite. You hear Bohori? There is a hot dog with no wrapper sitting on the counter. He smells it, he wants it. He's not gonna get it. He might get a bite. All right, try this. That's good. Wow. That's really flipping good. Kiss it. So I'm gonna try a little bit of it by itself. Just plain cheese. I'm gonna get cilantro on it. So it looks all like bougie and stuff. So I like it with the butter. I've never cooked quesadilla and butter like that. It's really good. It's really crispy. Let's try out the sauce. Yeah, sauce is pretty good. I yeah, sauce. Okay. This is something I've never tried. I mean, I've always seen it. I just, I, I've never really liked. Get out of the way. Never really liked citrus and stuff, but you know, I'm older. I'm exploring. I'm learning. Rory wants some cheese. Rory's getting no cheese. No cheese. It's not bad with the lime. It's better with the lime and that. So like, but like just the lime by itself, I don't like. This and this together with this. 10 out of 10. Well, after nibbling on a bunch of different stuff, I don't know if I can finish this, but I know that this video is definitely over. And I know that my dog is getting very, very antsy. Thank you guys for coming back and watching. <laughs>